So Lockjock Beef put me on these um, these mailbox locks from Mailboss um, that claim to be 12 wafer uh, cylinders. And while they have um, 12 wafers in them, as far as I can tell from the two that I have, and these are two key differently ones, um, the first two wafers don't even move. Like, like I can't get them to move up or down. So you couldn't accidentally overpick those or anything like that, overset them or anything. Uh, so in reality, this has two, four, six, eight, ten, ten wafers. These two, like I said, they don't do anything. Can't even move them. So claiming that it's a 12 wafer lock already is kind of suspect. Um, but anyways, ten wafers is quite a bit to pick, right? Um, but one thing you might notice is that all the wafers extend the exact same amount. So that means that every single one of these wafers has to be lifted exactly that amount, which is like, what, like two millimeters? So if you lift each one the exact same amount, you'll get it open. So that led me to think maybe it'd be very vulnerable to a comb attack, because you could put a comb and lift all of them. But I think that the heights of the cuts inside each of these wafers differ. So when you do lift it with a comb, um, it will lift these to different heights. So I don't think a comb attack will work. Uh, and the way that the bidding works in this, you can see it has a laser cut channel, that works on one side with little nubs, and then you have this top, these top cu cuts, which it looks like there's two, two biddings, either max, max lift or max cut, right? Um, and uh, so the way that works is each wafer has a little ledge that starts at a different height, um, that is uh, basically two millimeters too low, or two, two millimeters too low, and then this lifts it up the final two millimeters, right? Um, and then on the right side, same thing. The nubs are at different heights. They're like each two millimeters below where they need to be. And then this uh, laser cut will lift this right height. Anyways, what we'll do is we'll, we'll pick one of these and then um, I'll just open it up again at the end. You can see it sticks the, you know, if you have the wrong thing, it'll stick out the other side and not allow the open. And when you go to assemble this, uh, one side will allow it not to turn. You gotta turn 180 and then you can then it'll work. So it's in the instructions when, when you buy the lock that, that it behaves like that. Um, and I like to have this whole setup on that side like that. So I'll screw that back in. So it's very easy to gut. You don't need any tools. Unless this is really tightly wound on there, then you might need a little uh, screwdriver to take that off. But um, we can pick that one that I just took apart, I guess. If I can get the key out. Lock that way. Oh, what was I turning? Oh, it's not screwed all the way in. And turning all the way. Okay, maybe we'll pick the other one. Or I maybe assembled this one the wrong way around. So we'll pick this one. Um, I think I assembled it backwards, so uh, it wasn't turning. Remember I was showing you have to flip 180? Oh, I thought I tested that, so curious why that's not working. Anyways, we'll pick this one. That's fine. So let's get this in here. Um, I do like to have, if you have the nubs on the right, that means you can lift to pick. Uh, it, it'd probably be the same experience if I had to push down to pick, but just for simplicity's sake, we'll do it that way. Uh, get the focus and let's go. So I have this uh, multi-pick kind of like shutter, shutter opening tool. It has a little shutter in the front. And that's probably the most annoying thing about this lock is, is just the tensioning. Um, if you just were to go like that, you pop out a lot. So you kind of have to hold on to the tensioner to make sure it doesn't pop out, maybe like this. And you see it can slide around and stuff. So um, yeah, that can be an issue. It's gonna, it pops into this like little half crescent on the right side if you if you put too much tension and stuff. So anyways, uh, pushing to the right. So it's gonna it, it's binding the right side first. Um, it doesn't have to, but generally I find that if you're pushing towards something, it's gonna bind that side first. So pin one is jiggling, two jiggle, three jiggle, uh, and I can't feel four or five. Let's go back to the beginning. Jiggle on one, two. And if you can't feel stuff, um, you could switch to like a slider pick. So just pick with a little notch on the front, a little curvature to it. Um, and that way you can lock onto one of these nubs and you could jiggle it up and down like that. These are uh, sprung, I mean, they're wafers, but you know, they've got little nubs, so you can call them maybe like sprung, sli similar to sprung sliders. 
blocks, which means that um, you don't have to be able to pull down on it. You you can uh, pick it just by pushing up on it. Although this this back one here is I'm letting go of tension. Um, I Meaning you don't need to have one of these um, these to pick it. You could you could just as well pick it with any any hook because you can lift against the spring for each of them. So one, two, three, four, and I have a hard time finding five for some reason. Five's jiggling, four's jiggling, three's jiggling, two's jiggling. Oh, wait, no, it's one. I think I'm not feeling five. Five, I think, four, three, Two. No, I'm missing something towards the back. So I'm gonna switch this slider one and um, try this way. Two, three, four, five. All seem to be jiggling. So maybe I do need to pick the, the left side first and I was in error before um, saying which side to go first. So there's five on the left side as well. And one's jiggling. Two or wife or one rather, three. Four is up pretty high to start. Click there, so plug rotation, and uh, come back to the beginning again. If I can get under it, so this is just a deep hook. One is uh, loose, two is loose, three is loose, and what I found is this left side will act uh, kind of tapered. Um, but I'm going to go back to the right side again anyways. Uh, one is now jiggling. You know, I, I do like this this slider pick for this right side. I know I'm kind of all over the place. Sorry, I haven't really picked at this too much. Two. Three, a little bit bind maybe. Four is loose. And I can't find five. Minus five. Whatever one is this is binding, so I got a little click there and some plug rotation. Alright, then one's loose. I think two's binding. Little click there, some plug rotation. One's loose. Uh, one's uh, jiggling, two's jiggling, three's jiggling, four's jiggling, five's jiggling. So we'll go to the left. Deep poke again on the left. Find that first uh, wafer. Go underneath it. Seems pretty loose. Two's loose. Three's lo uh, loose. I think four's loose. And five's winding. Little click there. Oh, my watch is running out of batteries. Be quiet, watch. I don't care. All right. Come on. Two. Three. And I'm getting little clicks from them. They they behave kind of uh, kind of tapered on the left side, so I'll just keep going through one, two little tiny clicks from them. Three, four is hard to feel. Clicks there, five click there. Nothing. One, two little click, three little click. Four is hard to find because it's really high up. And five, little click there. One. Alright, one, go under it, a little jiggle there, two, three, four, and we're open. So this can go really fast if you're not talking about it and whatnot. My watch is getting really hot. Uh, no, I don't want power save on. Right. Um, and you can see we're open there. So let's take a look in this one because this is the other, this is the other lock. Lock it back up again. There we go. And like I was saying, it's, it's, it oh, just falls out like that. So it's just the same as the other one. Let's get the autofocus back on. Um, and that all of them, see, they stick out a little bit. And we put the key in, puts them down like that. So anyways, that's the, it, it's just a lock that was pointed out. It looked like a kind of fun 10 wafer. It claims 12, like I said, see, in this one, the front don't do anything either. Um, and they're, they're pretty cheap, so I, I picked a pair of them up. All right, thanks everyone. Bye.